Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shadow Wraith, and today I'm going to be doing a quick Q&A video where people on Discord, Facebook, YouTube ask me questions and I answer them. Nice and easy. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, my voice is a bit gravelly because I'm feeling slightly under the weather. But, hey ho, no rest for the wicked. So, let's jump straight on in here. So we have a question from N7X Ranger. What models would you like to see the next made to order batch? Um that's a good one. Uh there's always loads of models that I want uh that you can't currently get. Like a straight away Arnor is quite high up there for me. And I'm not sure if I actually play Arnor properly, but I love their models and I think they look amazing having Malbeth and stuff like that. Uh, would be quite cool. I just want to paint them up. Have a small force, even if it's just like 500 points of Arnold in my cabinet would be quite nice. Um, if not that, then probably uh, Farharad again. I know we had one quite a while ago, but it's been way too long. And I could do with some more Mahud on foot. Yeah, fantastic. Now, moving on, we've got uh, Mablung the Hunter. <laughs> uh, what sculpt do you wish had better rules? So, sculpts that I like. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. But really random one here. King's Huntsman. Um, I really like the model. But he, he's okay. He's only a minor hero, so I'd like him to be a, more than a minor hero. And maybe be able to take some Rohan uh, warriors with bow and upgrade them to be like, I don't know personal huntsman or something something along those lines would be quite cool so you could have uh, like on foot archers for Rohan uh, which would be kind of viable and finally the Dwimmer Lake okay the Dwimmer Lake's okay um, his sap fortitude rule is kind of cool I just wish it was a bit better because it costs one will point a lot of the wraiths have a similar like not a similar ability but something they can do for one will but they go off automatically this only goes off on a 4+, plus each time the enemy hero spends a point of might, will, fate. So maybe make it a bit easier to go off. Um, I don't know if that would be too hard. At least make him burly or something. <laughs> or don't give him a hand and a half sword. So he's not absolutely useless in combat because he's always minus one to his dual rolls. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with them too. Um, because I think the Dwimmer Lake looks awesome. But I'm not going to bring him over the Tainted or the Witch King or anything like that. Because... Why would I? So, uh, next question is Miss Bunny Bell. Uh, what game do you secretly enjoy but isn't one that most people would like and why? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. I guess one of my favourite games is chess. I know it's very popular, but a lot of people that I, I'm around don't play it. Uh, I like how tactical it is. It's just chess. Chess is a classic and it's fantastic. I enjoy another weird game. Um, it's called uh, uh, Taffel. Um, I don't know how you say it properly. Is this basically like Viking, a Viking esque kind of, uh, uh, I'll call it Norse kind of board game? Uh, it's really weird, but it's really cool. It's basically one, uh, one side has to uh, protect the king and the others have to kind of capture the king. Um, yeah. It's a really cool game, but I don't know many people that play it at all. Actually, I only know one person that plays it, and he's the only person I play it with. Uh, it's a really cool game. I really enjoy it. If we're talking about PC games, uh, I like weird games. I do like weird games. Like, nothing beats a really rubbish, like, indie horror game that isn't scary. It's funny. Yeah. I quite like that. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'll go with them. Um... Oh, there's got a follow-up to it. Or, what game is nostalgic for you? And what are some good memories you have playing it? Uh, most nostalgic game? Tabletop? This has got to be Mordheim. I used to play that when I was a kid. Because it's quite easy. It's a good stepping stone into fantasy. Uh, you only needed, like, you know, ten models or something like that. And you could play a little campaign with your friends, which we did. Uh, yeah, I really... I really did have some good memories of it because um, I used to play, I used to play as the undead, and uh, my vampire Barry 
used to in almost every game do absolutely nothing. He'd go up to like some Reichland dude, normal dude with like a sword, and absolutely fluff all his hit rolls and then get wounded back. Um, <laughs> it was just funny. I quite enjoyed that. Uh, PC game is going to be Halo. Halo three specifically. Yeah. If anyone played Halo three online with their friends, you know what I'm talking about. Um, next question, we have got, uh, Binary Sunset. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is, well, I'd say, I don't know, play games, enjoy yourself, and let others enjoy their life. There you go. It's pretty good. So enjoy the world around you, okay? You've got to enjoy the world around you without destroying the experience for other people. That's what I think the meaning of life is. So if your life, if you're not enjoying it, uh, I don't know. Not everyone enjoys their life. And obviously hardships happen to different people and stuff like that. But, I mean, you have to do your best. Um, I'm quite lucky with my life. Uh, I've, I've got married, I'm married, two kids. Uh, I do my YouTube. Uh, I play my favourite game quite a lot. Uh, currently got my dream job. So... Yeah, I'm quite lucky, but yeah, meaning of life, to be loved as well, there we go, check that, the meaning of life is to love and be loved, in return, sounds a bit cheesy, but that's what I'm going to go with, <laughs> um, do you play any online, but not tabletop games from you monk, um, yeah, I do, I play a lot of the Total War games, I love the Total War games, especially Rome Total War, Rome 2, I've got Rome Remastered, um, what other online games do I play? Dark Souls 3, I played that a hell of a lot when that was quite popular. I still play it now, but it's not as popular now, so Elder Ring will be the next step for me. Um, and XCOM. Love XCOM. Love me some XCOM too. Yeah. Uh, next question we got from Arash uh, Hussain. Uh, Suladan, Warlord of Freedom Fighter. <laughs> He's obviously a freedom fighter. Yep, <laughs> that's what I'm going with, uh, because I run him, so, you know. <laughs> um, then we've got another question from you, Monk. Uh, or what's the most or least epic Middle-earth strategy battle game moments in your army uh, that have happened to me? The least epic is when Strider uh, was uh, trapped by two goblins. Okay, he managed to get himself trapped. Uh, pinned up against the wall by two goblins and I was like, oh, I'll call a heroic combat, easy peasy no problem, okay, I'm fine I've got three might in the bank I've just got three heroic combat, cool yeah, let's go for it, okay roll my dice, triple ones goblin, rolls a six, there's nothing I can do about that, I'm like, it's fine I'll be alright um, and then Strider goes on to take three wounds from the goblins yep, because they've trapped him and then I fail uh, uh, I felt, I think, what, one of his fate? I rolled, like, God, so many ones. I rolled, like, three ones. And I fated up What? Yeah, no. Yeah, he took two wounds. I fated up, like, one of them. <laughs> uh, I mighted up one of them. Uh, yeah, he got crippled by those goblins. That's to later on get killed by a goblin bow. So, good going there, Strider. Most epic moment I've had in middle Earth strategy battle game. I was playing a game against Isengard with my Far Harad. And there was about six Urukai Berserkers between me and Saruman on horse. And my Mahud King charged in. And Impact Hit killed all six of these Urukais. Hit into um, Saruman, wounded him and took him off his horse. At which point, because it was contest a champion, so it kind of sucked for him anyway. He uh, threw in the towel. It was only a friendly game, but it was still, wow, what a lad. Because, yeah, the, the Mahud King would have would have punched him in the face. Quite easily. <laughs> that was quite funny. I enjoyed that. Uh, I don't want the video to be too long, so I'll do two more questions. Um, so we got Dark uh, Mikkel. <laughs> Mikkel Milk. Um, do you think the series will change the game? Uh, so the Amazon series. I really hope so. I really hope. GW get the rights to that. Uh, bring out models and that go with it. Uh, bring in new factions and things like that. Um, that would be fantastic, it would be cool. Anything that broadens the game makes it amazing. I just hope that they don't, like, amp up the power of these, like, 
because it's all set in the second age, I believe. So, like, I, I get it, elves are awesome, but just don't make them obnoxious, and we're all good. Just make them different than regular old elves. Um, that's fine. Like, strength four elves, I don't know. But, yeah, it'd be cool to get some new factions, I think, and some new heroes or anything like that. That'd be really cool. Then we've got a question, last question. Revive for you. I want to play Far Harad with lots of camels. Should I cry in the corner, or is there any other valid options that doesn't require me taking a second mortgage? Um, uh, at the moment, you to get the official Games Workshop ones, you're going to have to remortgage your house, because they're obnoxiously expensive. I, I own an army, a full army, but I bought it when they were available, so I'm quite lucky. Uh, I bought a full 1,000 point army, so I've got like 10 camels. Uh, I've got all the appropriate dismounts. Um, I've got two kings, yeah, all the other stuff. I've got a bunch of half trials, they're still available. The best option, there's loads of really good third party option, uh, like models you can get for them. Um, I'll try and have a look and put them in the link down below uh, for people. Um, but just check with your opponents if they're okay with you using third party models. Because my, my philosophy with third party models is. It's not available at all from Games Workshop. Go ahead, third party's fine. Okay, I don't mind it. Like, even if you 3D print stuff, go ahead, do whatever you want. That's cool. The only time I'm a bit, eh, don't do that, or I wouldn't do that, obviously, live and let live, do whatever you want, is if you 3D print the exact model, because at the end of the day, someone, an artist, sculpted that model and created it, and that's their work, and you are stealing it. To print it, I get it. You can't buy it, but just change. Do a slightly different model, so you're not stealing that artist's work. That's all I see. Like, I mean, do whatever you want. Don't listen to me. It doesn't matter. But that's just how I feel. Okay. And who listens to me anyway? Who cares? Hey. But there we go. Um, that's all the questions I'm going to answer today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any other questions, do consider popping them down in the description below. Um. Failing that, join my Discord server and pop them in the uh, Sh Ask Shadow Wraith section. But yeah, if you like the video, do consider liking. And if you're feeling especially saintly today, do consider subscribing. But even if you don't do either of those things, I still hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>